You may have heard of Elon Musk. He's sort of a superhero or super villain. He's done all these amazing things for humanity, for the greater good of mankind. He built out Tesla. He's talking about nuking Mars so we can, so maybe one day we can leave this earth. People have called you the real Tony Stark. Okay, you've got your finger in so many different advanced technologies. As yeah. I said, uh, SpaceX, uh, Tesla, now you've got Solar City and the solar pack that people put in their houses. Brilliant mind, brilliant man, but it seems like <laughs> the rest of the world hasn't really caught up with poor Elon yet. And it makes for some really awkward and painful situations for us to look at. Uh, there's these interviews where anyone can ask Elon a question. And the questions, they're, uh, I sort of understand now why Elon wants to leave Earth, okay? I understand now why he just, <laughs> why he thinks we can't keep living here. Provided we have filling stations along the way, um, is, means full access to the entire greater solar system. All right, so, uh, any, any questions that I can answer? I wanted to ask you, in, in behalf of all the ladies, can I go upstairs and give you a kiss? A good luck kiss. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Oh my god. <laughs> he made a presentation about interplanetary travel at the International Astronautical Congress. And this girl is just like, Can I come up on the stage and give you a little kiss on behalf of all the ladies? All the ladies, can I go upstairs and give you a kiss? A good luck kiss. <laughs> God damn it. But oh, wait, it gets better. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Aldo. And uh, three weeks ago, I was at Burning Man in the Nevada desert. Great. Great. And it felt like I was in Mars. Oh. It was a dusty storm, and it was really cold at night, and there was no water. But there was one problem at Burning Man. With a population of only 75,000, there, there was a lot of There was a lot of what? And there was no water to take it into the rivers, which is kind of what we do today in our current sanitation system. So I was like, is this what Mars is going to be like? Oh, he just wants to interrupt him so bad. Storm. Look at him, he's like, just can I stop you? Because this is the dumbest question I've ever heard. Are you seriously asking me, Elon Musk, an intellectual, about taking shits in the desert? Is that what... <laughs> Did you not hear my goddamn presentation about interplanetary travel? What the hell is wrong with you? So I was like, hey, Elon, are you working on a sustainable sanitation? Are we gonna have a toilet in Mars that doesn't use water? Today on Earth, there's three billion people that don't have a Guys, toilet. Guys, I actually have to say, it we have to keep the, the, it, it, no essays, only questions. All right, so are you working on a toilet on Mars? Hey, Elon, great speech you had there. Uh, but let me ask you something. If I go to Mars, will I be able to take a shit? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Calling you out, Elon. If you're so smart, Elon, then what about the sanitary system? About taking a shit? Global, you're the best. Everybody get up for Elon, please. This guy inspires the <laughs> shit out of us. Come on. I've got a gift for you. It's a comic book called The Future of Fusion. It's about the first man on Mars. Okay. Looks like you. I can't get past El Chapo's militia, though. So I don't know, should I just throw this onto the stage? Oh my god, it's just like, you just had to take this moment when you can ask a question. You get to ask Elon Musk a question and then all you do is promote your own shitty comic book. God damn it. God damn it. I'd be so done if I was Elon here. I would just be like, uh, just no more questions. I, I, I got, I got, I got literally anything better than this. Literally figuring out the sanitary system on Mars is better than this. Sorry? My question is, can I give you this gift? Um, sure, if you, you ha yeah. It's the future of fusion. <laughs> thank you, sir. All right, thank you. A quick, quick question. God, he keeps having to say questions, not essays. I see this all the time at public Q&As where people just make it all about themselves. You know, they want to take this moment to talk about themselves. Uh, look, uh, here's what I am doing. I know I'm supposed to ask you a question, but let me tell you about something maybe a little bit more interesting. 
me. It's about quick questions, not essays. Yeah, yeah, quick questions. So it's about you sending someone to Mars, but kind of like that first monkey that got shot into space. They're never coming back. It's going to be a one-way trip. So uh, not you, necessarily. Well, maybe. So. So you mathematically determine the world's most expendable human being to make the journey, and that's Michael Sarah. So I wanted to see if this is like a project that you might have any interest in supporting. Um, Funny or Die just drove 31 million views to a like Hillary Clinton's Zach Galifianakis video a few days ago. Wow. Right, we're wow. 31 million views. That's a lot of views. I'm sure Elon Musk really cares about YouTube views. You really swayed his opinion there. Yeah, that Michael Sarah meme. That's a, that's a good meme. Michael Sarah, that I, I, we should send him to space as a meme. That would be hilarious. Out of time and have to make way for a new session, so this is going to be our last question. Sorry, yeah, I've got to make room for a new session. Sorry, guys. Thank you for thank oh, you going. So, oh, he said last question. Uh, <laughs> so this is going to be our last question. Sorry, yeah, I've got to make room for a new session. Sorry, guys. Thank you for Hi. thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. All right. He just cuts it short. God bless you, Elon. My God, Dan Bull, what a fun. What a waste of fantastic opportunity to learn. Yep, pretty much. And the social justice warrior question as well. Oh my god. You're going interplanetary, but you're not going international. When are you going to hire people from other countries than the US? Yeah, Elon. When are you going to hire other people than from you America? America? You are racist, Elon. You are racist. <laughs> yes, he's a racist. Yeah, so I think people are a bit confused about this. Um, uh, unfortunately, the, it, it, this is not up to us. So the, the U.S. government regulations, um, uh, well, they make, they make um, getting a job in the U.S. hard as it is, get just getting a job easy hard as it is. But if you're working on rocket technology, that's considered an advanced weapons technology. So even a normal work visa isn't sufficient. It's too difficult. The government make it too difficult. And y'all want socialism, huh? Is that what you want? Another thing I really appreciate is, uh, uh we, we'll get into that later. Uh, they, they call this one Elon Musk. Elon Musk is being trolled, but you can hear he's not trolling. Just, just a quick follow up. Um, I've been asking to speak to you now for two years, um, to talk to you, to tell you that I'm also a super genius like yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me too. I am also a super genius. Uh, I'm not sorry. I'm not sure I'm, I'm, not... I'm, I'm sure I'm one, but all right. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying to serious. This is all, to all benefit of Tesla shareholders in, in the world. I am a capitalist like yourself. I am also a level two stage. I've been waiting for 10 years now for someone to give me a second look, a full second look. And if they did, they would see a very advanced mind in front of them. So I'm asking you today, can you give me a second look? What the hell? What, what the hell does a second look mean? What do you want him to do? Pity, pity you into, oh, I've been waiting two years for, for this opportunity that I think I deserve. Um, okay, I mean, I'm not sure what, uh, second look in what, 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 I'm not sure in what uh, regard. I, I would like to come on board as vice chairman of Tesla. To... <laughs> uh, well, uh, we don't really have a vice chairman spot, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I don't think, I, I, I have to oh say, my God. I know, I'm probably sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, um, oh God, what, uh, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I can also apply for a future CEO position, but I would, at, at least, I, at least I would like to come on the board of the directors. I apologize. Is it to the benefit of Tesla shareholders? Uh, I, I, I think we need to move on to another another question. My apologies. Oh God, why? Poor Elon. God, why? The Verge, which of course covers uh, mainly tech. I think that's what their their biggest thing on. You have this guy who's incredible, done amazing things for the uh, for the tech industry. Some would say even for the greater of mankind. But what does the Verge post about? Elon Musk should stop making that stupid sex joke about Tesla's car names. Urgh! Why, Elon? Basically, he did the three cars, right? Three different model models. One was S, one was X, so he named the third one three, so he can spell out sex with a three.
Stop spelling out. Saying things directly to you, and they're saying them directly to you. That's a whole other level. Apparently, the goal was to spell out sexy. Even it wasn't even supposed to be sex, and literally, no one cares. No one cares. I just feel bad. I just feel so bad. <laughs> it's not funny, but at the same time, it's hilarious. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Did you laugh or did you cr uh, cringe? Wait, what? Did you? What am I doing? Live your life and you enjoyed uh, Squad Fam Jiu Jitsu out. <laughs>